Uh, g'day guys, Toyota Kluger does have a drain tap. So you can see it through here. The issue is uh, you might need to carefully open it with a set of small flat pliers. Uh, this particular one was extremely tight. I couldn't undo it by hand. There's very little access for your hand in there. Sorry. Jeez. There it is there. Um, and here with the ball bar, you just take the spacers and stuff out and just release what you can to get the coolant out um, and do it your way, you know, either drain it once or what is meant to be done is refill it, run it, turn the heater controls on, get all the coolant out and make sure you fill the right coolant in just because it's red doesn't mean it's the right coolant. Um, this Kluger is a 2008, not bad actually, you can see the hydraulically actuated uh, the, the 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 hydraulic mount with the variable actuation. I first saw that on a Honda Accord V6 in 1998. Um, but yeah, it's quite a solid solid car. Uh, when you when you take the tap out, there's an O-ring on it. I always uh, like to put Teflon on that O-ring. Um, Teflon tape. That's what I like to do on the O-rings because I have seen them leak. Um, okay. So that's the Kluger. Uh, that shape. And um, it could be called a Highlander as well later on. Okay, guys. Hope that helps. Bye.